This audio session was recorded for you. Please use headphones and listen carefully. Hey, this is Jordan Belfort, the real Wolf of Wall Street, and you're listening to The Anthony Rogers Show. This call is now being recorded. Welcome back to the greatest show in the universe. Um, online, we have Jocelyn James. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Not bad, not bad. Um, it's, uh, you, your last episode had like a, over a million downloads on our on our. Oh, uh, sure. It's like one of the most downloaded episodes. <laughs> it's like one of the most downloaded episodes we've had so far. Awesome. That was badass. So, um, you're going to the ABN soon? Like, is that like next week or something? Um, or a couple weeks? Actually, um, my, the, my first trip is like, going to be heading to El Paso on the 14th. I'm feature dancing at the famous Red Carrot over the weekend. So, Friday and Saturday, I will be there feature dancing, but I'm also going to be there for a few other days beforehand because I'm going to be doing some shoots with some local photographers and some talent that I've been scouting. And then the week after that is uh, the big ABN in Las Vegas. That's the 22nd to the 25th. The award show's on the 25th. I have a custom suit that's then made for me. Um, and then I have a jeweler coming out. He's done a few uh, statement pieces for the red carpet event. And then in February, I will be at Cheerleaders in Pittsburgh. That's bad. So, like, uh, like how many events have you gone to now so far? I've been in the business this, uh, this August will be 15 years. That's crazy. Yeah, I was thinking you had, like, the hookup on it. You're like, I got all these clothes and stuff. I'm like, you've been, yeah, you, that's, like, pro. <laughs> that's, like, yeah. that's, like, pro bullshit. That's, like, like, everybody else is like, I'm excited to get, like, I have press passes, but I haven't, I feel like the last, like, three years, but I haven't gone. Like, I have, like, a... Yeah. I've, I, I need to go at some point, but yeah, you're like, yeah. you're like, I'm already got everything figured out. I have like custom outfits. <laughs> like, yeah, like, exactly. Well, I'm a planner. Everybody knows that about me. I don't, I don't like to do anything spontaneous because too much stuff can go wrong. Yo, you're better at it than I am. Like you reminded me of like, like a show, like I, like you're the only person that reminded me of a, um, a future shows we had because, uh, like, like most of the time I'm super on it and like you were like way more. I'm like, how the fuck? Like I was like thrown off by how on it you're You're like, wait a minute. No, I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> No, you're right. Yeah, no, it was, cra- it was crazy. I was like, holy shit, we did say that. Like, no one's ever called me on that. I was like, I'm like, that's the first time I think. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I try to be honest sometimes. So, um, where are you at? Where, where are you out of usually? Like, where are you at right now? I'm sorry? Where are you at? Where are you out of, like, usually? Like, where do you live, I guess, is the way people say it. I am based in Las Vegas. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I think so. That's cool. That's right. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, you travel a bunch, though. So. You're always like, I'm going to five cities. I got like all these, sh- like I was just trying to figure it out. Yeah. Makes it interesting. Are you from there? Or? No, I'm from a really small village up in the Adirondacks. It's called the Village of Mayfield. Holy shit. The, uh, where, where did you say you're from? It's, in, it's called the Village of Mayfield. It's up in the Adirondacks in upstate New York. About Adder, north okay. North, yeah, hour and a half north of Albany, not an hour and a half north of Poughkeepsie. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow, yeah, those those towns outside of New York City are like villages, yeah, for sure. I, I drove through, yeah. drove through those. You no, know, a lot of people think when you say north, you say you say up north in New York, they think Poughkeepsie because they think that New York City is the capital of New York when it's not yeah. Albany. Is. Yeah, people people think a lot of stupid shit like that. That's hilarious. <laughs> like, like I yeah, I think as a kid, I drove through Albany a lot when I was a kid. Like, when I not drove like rode my parents stuff, and then I drove later than all. Like, yeah, that area is pretty cool. Like, it's like um. Like, like where the, the glaciers melted and stuff, like basically, and there's all these like weird hills and stuff. Yeah, lots of mountains and lakes and all that stuff for sure. That, that's badass. How do you like Vegas? I've been here for 14 years. I guess I like it. Wow, that's long. <laughs> are you are you the long, uh, longest resident of Vegas? That's like I, I couldn't like. It seems like a tourist place mostly. Uh, well, there's hospitals and churches and temples and schools and libraries and parks. <laughs> All kinds of stuff. Vegas, Vegas, so you not just Las Vegas Boulevard. You left the strip, okay? I didn't realize that. <laughs> I never, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. No, Vegas is a cool town. They have like the old part that's like building back up again. I forgot, I forgot what part it is, but like uh, the last couple of years, it's really been building up. Like where people, like the old town, where, like the Rat Pack used to hang out and shit. Yeah. That's a cool town. Uh, the casinos have like, or uh, the uh, airports have like casinos. And it's always funny. Like everybody's like, it's always like some nine year old lady like smoking cigarettes playing like casinos when you go in there. Yep. Well, they got the, you know, pretty much they got those slot machines just about everywhere. They got them in the Walmart. They got them in the Walmart. Station, they're in the airport. Everywhere. I did not know they were at Walmart. That's great. Yep. Walmart, That's awesome. Albertsons. Like, literally any place that, ha- that, that ha- has a gaming license or they want to get one, 
every place has those little things because, like, that's a, a big source of revenue for the store. Yeah, the, fir- the first time I went to Vegas, like, on, on their airport first off, like, I felt like I went, like, a time machine. Cause, like, it felt like I went to, like, the 90s or something. There was, like, chain-smoking cigarettes and, like, gambling as soon as I got off the airport yeah. the plane. I was like, it was yeah. definitely a fun experience, like. I'm well, now, the, now at this airport, they've got some, a specific smoking section, so you can't smoke openly in the airport anymore. You can't vape. You have to, if you want to vape or you want to smoke a cigarette, you have to go in designated smoking rooms, or you have huh. to be outside, like so, so many feet away from the door. Oh wow, the Nazis got them too. Finally, yeah. <laughs> they got they got everybody. That's crazy to think about. Like. Like, uh, Vegas is a weird, I'm too stupid to live there. Like, you guys, you guys sell alcohol 24 7 too. Like, I feel like I would just die in Las Vegas. <laughs> like, I would just, I'm just too, I'm just too stupid. Well, I am sober and I'm doing okay. <laughs> That's the way to do it. That's the only way to be in Vegas, probably. Well, I mean, it's, it's up to you. I mean, it's, you can be drunk and high in any city. It don't matter. Fair. That's a good point. And you're right by LA, like, what, like two hours or something? Well, it depends on traffic, but about two, two, two to three hours. That's not bad. That's a good point. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm in, I'm in San Luis where it snowed. Like, um, that's why you're only hearing my voice right now, because like, um, it snowed so bad that everybody couldn't drive like 30, 45 minutes and shit, because they live outside. Of, like, everybody coming in was supposed to, and it's like all this snow everywhere, and the roads are covered in ice. Yeah. It's fucking fantastic. <laughs> right. Excuse not to leave my house ever. What well, um so more or less like um uh, tell the person like listening like more what would they what would what is something about the AVN people should know that like you would know that like they would never know just from like googling it or something. Um well every every end is different. All I know is that this year um the you know Manwin which is, I mean not Manwin uh, Mind Geek which is browsers and Reality Kings and stuff like that and then Greg Lansky they're not having their big booth. So this year, ABN, I don't really know what to expect. And I don't know what to tell anybody to expect because this is going to be different than any of the other ones before. And there's going to be a lot of other people just not coming. And then the week before ABN is X, um, X's in Los Angeles. So I, I honestly, I, I'm kind of like going to be going in there blind myself because I don't know what to expect because with all the different changes. And it being the last year at Hard Rock because Hard Rock is closing down. And what the fuck? Called, yeah, there's a, yeah, Hard Rock is going to be no more. It's gonna I didn't know called, that. It's going to be called Virgin, I believe. Ugh. Yeah. I'm disgusted right now. Hard Rock had like all the cool instruments from like all those play, all those like bands I like. They had, like a yeah. Doors drum set and shit. I'm like, what? Do you have a fucking Doors drum set here? There's like right. yeah, that's, and that pool's the best. They have the best fucking pool. They like remodeling everything. You just like change the name or mm-hmm. what's up? Yeah, they're changing everything. There's no more rehab. Rehab as it has Ugh. been big in a long time. I know uh, uh, oh. one of my one of my uh, DJ friends in New York. He's like, yeah, I want to DJ at, re- at rehab this spring. I'm like, you know, it's not going to be there anymore, right? And I'm like, <laughs> when's, the last time you, when's the last time you were in Vegas? Because rehab hasn't been popping in a long time. Wow, like, you made me feel old. Out. Right now, it's like Web Republic, um, Encore Beach Club, Daylight, uh, Marquee, Dre's. Like, those are all the cool parties. Because, like, that's, like, everybody now has, like, performers come in. Like, Chris Brown, Rick Ross, Drake. Every, like, all those big-name performers are here every, just about every weekend. And sometimes they've got three different performers every day, you know. <laughs> No, it's Vegas is a lot different than what it was even five years ago. Yeah, you nailed it. It was probably five years ago. I, thought, I just realized how long ago I hadn't been. I hadn't been Vegas. I've been my girlfriend for like three or four years, and then I went a year or two before I met her. It's so it's probably yeah. It's so different than it was. Like yeah, you, I moved. Like when I got here, we didn't have the pool parties. Like we were just starting off with um with bear which is the topless pool over at, at Mirage, and then um, uh, Ditch Fridays over at the Palms. Those were the pool parties, you know what I'm saying? And now, mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of, like, like, Tropicana and a lot of the other, like, smaller casinos or whatever have pools, but, like, there's, like, it's exploding now. The pools are literally, it's pool season is just as popular as the regular nightclubs are because they are literally just doing the auditions for um, the bartenders, the uh, cocktail waitresses, and all that kind of stuff for the pool parties. They're doing that the 14th and 15th of this month. 
getting ready for the for the you know the summer. Yeah, I hate that you you guys still have pools open right now. No pools are open right now. Thank God. Okay, at least you're suffering as well. Like, <laughs> you, you, you know that it's um, what's the temperature on the right side? Hold on. It is 48 degrees out right now. Oh wow. Okay, I thought it'd be way warmer. Yeah, no, it's like it's oh, some shit like that here. No, no, we get snow and it's yeah, it's gonna be 35 degrees tonight. And that's not that's in the warmer area, like up by where I live. I, I live on West Vegas. It it gets me sometimes, you know. It's not warm just because it's Vegas. I'm just like, oh, it's the desert. I'm like, do you know a little bit of geography for you? Most of the deserts in the world are covered in snow, ice. <laughs> I feel like I'm learning something. Like I, I thought the same thing. I didn't. I probably have never been there in winter. So I like only been there in summers and shit. But that makes sense. Actually, Google deserts and in the world, most of them are covered in ice and snow. Jeez. Yeah, it just means lack of. Yeah, that's crazy. Think about it. Where's your favorite city? Like traveling to? That's on the travels a bunch. I don't really have a favorite city because everywhere I go, I'm gonna be able to find the stuff I like to do and stuff I like to eat. So. That's that's fucking fair. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. I love this. I love St. Louis right now. Though. I love living here. Like um, like everything's like really cheap. Like I guess compared to like other places, better cities. So it's like yeah. and like everything's like eight minutes away. Like I'm just such a cheap person. I just couldn't imagine like spending more for things. <laughs> like I don't know why. You know what I mean? It's like the, like like in New York, this would be like a like the place would be like four grand or something, like a month. You know what I mean? Or yeah. something like that I wouldn't would never want to spend ever. You right. yeah. Have you seen St. Louis? I'm sorry. Have you been to St. Louis? I sure have. I actually went to college in Missouri. I went to college in Stevens in Columbia. You went to Missouri, uh, you went to uh, Columbia and Stevens in Columbia, you said. Yes, I went to Stevens in Columbia. That's hilarious. Okay, well, I live like three, a couple hours from there. Yeah, I dated the quarterback to the Mizzou football team when I was there. That's that's immediately what I thought of when you said Columbia was Mizzou. I was like immediately what I thought of at first. I'm like, okay, I know where that count. Oh, your college is too. That's a small fucking world. Like, when was it? When did you go to college? Where were you in college? Uh, my freshman year was uh, 1996. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, um, and now I live in yeah, I live pretty close. Not close, really. Maybe three hours or something. You know? Yeah. Some shit like that. We like driving to Los Angeles. Yeah, exactly. Just down 70 all the way. That's crazy. You went to college. That's such a small world. Like, I would never think you. I was thinking maybe you went to like, you know, like the, the way you tour and stuff. You probably go to like maybe like like Illinois or something. I didn't know if you like. Cause I, I guarantee like St. Louis isn't that much of a st- top for like uh, stopper, stripper, uh, strippers touring or like comedians or like it's usually like music and shit that I see. Yeah. Yeah. I think Vegas is its own world. Like, you have, like, every famous person ever. That's what's cool about the AVNs, and that's what I almost why I want to go is, cause, like, I feel like you have so many fucking people, like, just from, like, rap and, like, so music. Guys, so many people come from literally from all over the world. They save, you know, all year to come and make this trip to Vegas for the week. You know, it's, it's definitely something worth seeing. But, like I said, with all the different changes and stuff like that, I don't know, like, how it's going to be. I mean, it's definitely going to be a good time. They still have the special parties and all the different events and dinners and whatnot. I mean, it's going to be fun, but as in compared to over the last 14 years, I, I don't know. That's crazy thing about it. I, 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 I think about it all the time and I'm just like, I just like, I'm so, like I said, I'm just a cheap bastard. Like, I'm like, I don't want, I can fly there for like 60 bucks probably and I'm still just like, I don't want to leave my house. Like, <laughs> like I've been in, I've been in my house for like two weeks, I feel like. And it's like, I just, well, I get, like, it's not. Get yourself out before you become a turtle or something. <laughs> I, turn into, I just turn into a turtle. I, yeah. I'm like, that would, that would suck so bad. <laughs> I was, I'm like, all this hard work and I just turn into a fucking turtle. That yep. would suck. No, I, I enjoy, it's just cold outside and I enjoy, I enjoy like sitting on my couch forever. <laughs> like, it's like, that's what I would do with my life. Well, you know, my couch too, but sometimes you gotta get up and stretch your legs or something. No doubt, yeah. It's, like I said, it's like six, it's probably sixty bucks to fly to fly, fly to Vegas, and then like like Airbnb, whatever else. And it's like it's probably not that bad. But I'm just like so cheap. I'm like, and I know I need. I always get the press passes. I get excited about it like m- months ago. Like, like a month ago, I'm like, yeah, man, I'm gonna go this year. I get the press passes, and I just fucking never go. Like three years in a row, probably. Damn procrastinator, you gotta figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> There's interview people. All the publicists are yeah, pissed. Like uh, you know, you know, a couple of them probably like um they get like pissed on my down there to like talk to people and shit. Honestly, I just don't know. Especially if Hard Rock's going away. That's like, fuck, you ruined my life, like, saying that. Yeah, but, <laughs> you know, I'm over here, you know, 
kissing babies and shaking hands and ruining dreams. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's hilarious. Run for so office. I, <laughs> you should. You should run for office. That'd be funny. That'd be fun, like, too. Like, they probably vote for a porn. Actually, you know what? You could come out here from Tuesday to Saturday to Las Vegas. You could stay at a hotel, a nice one, for 317 for those few days. And then you can get you a round trip. Hold on, let me look. Over here, just setting up your life for you. <laughs> Saint Louis. Yeah, Saint Louis to Vegas round trip about maybe two hundred one eighty nine. Yeah, Frontier. Like five hundred bucks. That's five hundred yeah, like, bucks. I know. I just like I have to like leave my house and sh- I just feel like. I'd, like, sleep in some weird-ass bed, and then I have to fucking, like, do all this stuff. Like, I almost had my girlfriend talk to me going, though, on the weekend part of it. But I still, like, I still don't know if I, like, she, she'd be fun. She's a teacher, so she's, like, off on, like, weekends and shit, clearly. But, honestly, I don't know. I'm so lazy. I don't know. I, but you, if I was, you you guys have to promote stuff. It makes sense. Like, it makes sense why porn stars go to it. Right. <laughs> because, you'd like. Be able to get a, you'd be able to get a lot of interviews. You wouldn't yeah. have to, you know, legitimately leave your house for quite a while if you come down here for a few days. Just stock up. <laughs> 30 interviews, then you'd be good. Yeah. Just, like, stock up on interviews and <laughs> release them all year. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, this interview is actually going to be 13 part. Yeah, we're, we're going to turn this interview into 13 part episode. <laughs> just, to, just to stretch it out. Like, we're going to, till, uh, till June. There you go. <laughs> That's crazy, though. You have, like, the, like, you literally, you've been on here twice. This is your third time, I think, being on. The show may have changed names and shit, and it may have changed, like, stations. She's like, I've talked to you three times, I think, on here, or uh, show-wise. And the last one, like, blew up. It was crazy. Like, the other one did decent. I wasn't bad. Like, the last one, like, got, like, that was the first one. First time I had a million downloads, and more, more streams and listens. But, like, a million downloads off that one episode. That was the first time I've had that since I've been on my own. Yeah, that was, the first time I, that was the first time I've done that since I've been on my own, not now off a radio station, not anything else. Like, that's just for uh, Spotify downloads, mostly. That's awesome. Yeah, congrats. Like, that's like, that's cool if you could even do that. Like, that many people give a fuck what you're saying, or mostly, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is crazy, though. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. You're just saying that. You ask me questions, me talking, and your reaction to my. To my you're just saying that. <laughs> you're just being polite now. Um, I'm polite, but I'm being honest. <laughs> that's fair. So what's um well, outside the like we'll go back we'll we'll promote the show again before we get out here like um uh, but um what else uh you have coming out like what are you working on like what are the, what's some of uh you seem like you work harder than everybody else I feel like well, you're always I'm doing always, shit always doing stuff for my OnlyFans stuff for my sex Panther. I just started doing stuff for there's uh Naughty America exclusive content um platform that I just started doing stuff for I still got stuff on clips for sale so you can find the links to all my stuff on my Instagram and my Instagram is at Jocelyn underscore James and that's J-O-S-L-Y-N J-A-M-E-S actually no I think underscore that's my Twitter hold on one second let me look really quick before I start saying stuff that ain't true just search Jocelyn James on Instagram yeah, it's only one check mark yeah it's at Jocelyn <laughs> James and then mine is the one that's verified and just so everybody knows there is a bunch of people I don't know if it's just one person or a bunch of people making fake Instagram um, soliciting people for money, plane tickets, whatever it is. Obviously, if it does not have the blue verified check, it's not me. And my name is not Anesthesia or Annalisa or Brittany or any of those things. So if you're sending money to somebody you don't know, I am so sorry, but that's the dumbest stuff you could ever possibly do. <laughs> and I personally would never ask you for money. I would, so, though. Like every, every time somebody shows me something that uh, where somebody's trying pretending to be me and soliciting whatever, I always I've been posting it and asking everybody to please report them. But literally within a matter of an hour after they get shut down, there's a new one up. So like I said, if, if there is no blue check on the Instagram, it's not me. So don't send that person money. Please. Yeah. Use your brain a little bit. Please. <laughs> That's That's there is a lot. Of that. <laughs> There's a lot of accounts with your name too. I I didn't notice that. Yeah. That's totally, that's crazy. Like, you like, every time they sh- every time they shut it down, a new one pops right up. So it's like I can only do so much. But just like I said, be smart about it. I would never ask for money. If you want to see everything that I'm doing, where I'm going to be at, 
all the different platforms where you can see my content and talk to me, please go to my Instagram, the one that's verified, at Jocelyn James. Awesome. And what is uh, what is some advice you'd give a young listener out there trying to get into porn? Like, um, like it's, um, not what, it's literally, it's not what you think. Don't get your day job. You, you probably <laughs> would not be able to do it. Um, but there are there are agencies. I'm not one of them. You can Google how to be a porn star. It'll pop up all the different agencies in Florida and in Los Angeles. So, yes, please don't ask me how to be a porn star. Don't send me shaking videos or any of that stuff. I don't want to see it. Well, that was coming next after after I asked you. That was that was the next step. Like, oh my goodness, I guess. And just people, I swear to you, I don't even know like what possesses people to think it's okay to send those things. Because you see my my page, none of my pages of like, oh my god, I want to see your cock, or I no, no, I do not. You're like eating healthy on your stories. You're like, I'm eating, like, I'm eating like a my, raw my, celery. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I was like, is she vegan? I have no idea. She didn't tell me if she's I like vegan. To, I like to eat vegan, but I do like meat. But I don't want to see stranger meat, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel. And I know I knew. I figured you weren't vegan because you didn't tell me twenty times. That's why I was like wondering. It's like your food looked really healthy, but you never ever told me that you were vegan. So I feel like you, that's the first thing you tell somebody if you're vegan. Yeah. No, I just can't do dairy because my digestive system doesn't allow me to do dairy, and I don't eat intestines. I just think they're gross. People want to call them shitlins, give them a fancy name. No, that's intestines, and that's where poop is. No. <laughs> that's hilarious. You'll never survive in the South. <laughs> no, I, I lived in the Sorry. South. I lived in the South just fine. I married a man from the South. I was just fine. I don't make or, or eat chitlins, but I can do oxtail. I can make salmon croquettes. I can do a lot of things. I don't do intestines. Where'd you live in the I, South? Before I married my ex-husband. No, where where at though? Houston. Oh, cool. Okay, I don't know that area. Yeah. My ex mother in law is Creole. She's from Louisiana. I I learned a lot, but I don't do intestines. I'll do eyeballs, pig's feet, anything pickles. I will not do intestines. I don't care. Yeah, I can tell by the way you named the food. You knew what you were talking about. I was like, where the fuck? Were you? I was. I would have guessed Louisiana by the way you're saying it, but you said tech. Yeah, that's it it, it crazy thing about. It. You knew a lot about their <laughs> a lot about their menu. So what do you see 2020 going for you? Like, what are you, you going to get richer? Or what are you going to, uh, what do you think going on this year? Well, my, my health is already better than it's ever been. So on my sobriety, I'm happy, healthy. I know a lot of beautiful things are on the horizon for me and my family. And I'm just going to continue to be happy and working on my abs. <laughs> and I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm open to whatever the world has to offer. No, I love your goals. It's like it's like good family, good health, and abs. Those are your goals. I love it. No, it's funny. It's funny. Like it's good goals to have. Well, um, go, I guess go ahead and uh, wait. What are you saying? LBs at about one twenty-seven. I'll be good. <laughs> That's funny. Well, um, I guess throw out the places uh, you're traveling to soon and stuff before you get out of here and stuff, and listeners can go check you out and uh, for those what venues. All right, everybody can come and check me out. And if you're in the El Paso or Texas area, I will be in El Paso at Red Parrot this coming weekend, the 17th and 18th. But I'll also be there the 14th to the 19th. I'll be featured dancing, doing shoots, doing photos, doing meet and greets. I have merch that I'm going to be selling and giving out. I will also be doing private shows, lap dances, and all that kind of stuff. Um, you can also find me on my Instagram, and you'll see the list of all the cities I'm going to and what clubs and stuff I will be at. Please also go to my OnlyFans, and that's OnlyFans.com slash Jocelyn James. Uh, so, well, um, thank you for coming on the show again, and uh, we'll be in touch. So. Okay. My pleasure. You have a good night, baby. See you soon.